Uh, we started in, in 2013. Um, we're in our fourth year, so we're out of our terrible threes or horrible threes, people, whatever they say. <laughs> and uh, you know, people always ask me the question, why did you start a film festival? Well, I guess first and foremost, I was a filmmaker and I had a film that had some success and I toured the world with it. You know, I was in London and and just all over. In fact, I screened it in New York in front of 15,000 people. And I don't know if I ever told you about this. And uh, Hugh Jackman was with me on stage in front of 15,000 people. And we actually sang a song together. And looking out at that crowd of 15,000 people, I thought, gosh, wouldn't this be amazing to have a film festival in Portland like this? And I came back to town, met with a whole bunch of my friends, and you know we all came to the conclusion that yeah, Portland needs a different type of film festival. So that's what we did. We created one, and about 90 friends and myself, uh, you know, put on the first festival. And it's it's there's two types of film festivals in this world, and I, I go to film festivals probably once a month. There's a film festival with the red rope where you're not really able to go on the other side and meet people. And then there's film festivals that are a little bit more welcoming and opening. And I think we'd rather be the latter where you can meet people. Um, we've had tons of celebrities of A-list filmmakers come to our festival. And the one thing that I love is that they've all been accessible and people who have been interested in becoming filmmakers or learning more about the craft um, can, can find out pretty easily. So that's kind of a cool, a cool experience, I think. Obviously, um, our opening night films are going to be awesome. Um, are going to be are pretty well received. If you're a Parks and Rec fan, uh, we have uh, Jim O'Hare is coming with his film Middleman, which is uh, uh, seems like a really awesome film. It's a, it's about an accountant that wants to become a comedian, and uh, and then all the whole you know the shit hits the fan. I guess I can't really say that. I guess in an interview. <laughs> uh, and then um, we have uh, Wizard Mode, which is about a um, a champion pinball wizard. Uh, player who also has autism. In fact, the, he's a champion uh, pinball player, I said, and he's going to be coming. So if you, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Portlanders that will be interested in that. Uh, we have uh, uh, um, uh, Cheech Marin from uh, Cheech and Chong is in a new film, which I think is really interesting for the Oregon market. Uh, we just legalized marijuana, and this film is, is about a um, illegal grow operation that's trying to become legal and a murder ends up happening and you know things end up going wrong and, and Cheech Marin is in that which is great and um, you know it's a world premiere so it's never played anywhere else which is kind of fun uh, we've just got you know so many different films that I think people will be interested in uh, there's kind of a quirky documentary that we've got called uh, Gold Balls which is about 80 year old tennis players uh, that uh, are going for the championship of the senior uh, uh, tennis league which is kind of fun there's also um, another documentary which I think is kind of neat for people that are interested in, in the, the Studio 54 times um, and uh, there's a documentary about a photographer that hung out at Studio 54 which I think is pretty cool. Um, yeah there's just tons of films I think every day there's you know 10 or 20 new films that you've never seen and um, you know if you're a teacher for example there's a film called The Lesson uh, which plays, I believe, Wednesday night or Thursday night at 10. And it's about a teacher that has enough of his students being bad and ends up taking them hostage and showing them a new lesson plan. So it's uh, it's kind of a, <laughs> yeah, it's a little extreme, but um, I know there's a lot of teachers out there that probably wish they could do that. And you may not want to do it yourself, but you can at least watch it in the movies. I mean, it's uh, cheaper than the regular theaters. It's about ten dollars, um, and that covers um, you know movies pretty much throughout the whole festival. Um, opening night's fifteen, so it's a little bit more. If you want to go to the after party, I think it's like twenty. Um, so you know, if you'd rather just get a pass, we have student and senior passes for I believe ninety nine dollars. Um, we have industry passes for people that work in the industry for 109 and then I think all access passes are 180 and VIP which gets you a free t-shirt and, and lunch and access to a little bit more things and no lines is I think 340 or something so it ends up being worth it if you plan on going to more than you know five or six different pro uh, films. We've got about 120 films total 
uh, we got about 10 shorts blocks, um, and then we have about 54 features and another eight tribute films, which are films from the past that have a certain significance uh, to Portland. For example, we're screening um, Logan's Run with the author. Uh, William F. Nolan's coming and he's going to talk about his film. Uh, we have uh, Chuck Palahniuk's going to be talking about Choke and also screening um, some trailers from Fight Club 2, which is kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've got a lot of... Uh, it's an anniversary this year for Stand By Me, for um, Short Circuit, uh, a couple Portland, Oregon films, and, you know, we'll be screening them as well. <laughs> Yeah, how do you cram uh, 120 films in one theater over eight days very carefully? In fact, we have about 15 to a half hour uh, break between each film. But uh, really, it's films from noon until midnight every day, which is awesome. And I think it's it's not done very frequently in Portland. And I think it just builds this huge and this amazing camaraderie. I mean, you can go and watch films and meet people and become best friends with them. And I think that's one thing that I really cherished at other festivals that I've gone to, is you make these interesting connections and you meet these people that hopefully become friends for life. <laughs>